welcome to the No Spin News Thursday, February 1st, 2024. Stand up for your country. Boy, am I glad January's in the books. Here in the Northeast, that is the worst month, January. You know, after Christmas, and then we got 31 days, and the weather is terrible, and really not much going on. Oh, I'm so glad it's over. And we got, you know, February's no bargain here, but it goes quicker, and then March, we start to moderate a little bit. All right, I know you're uh, appreciative of the weather forecast, right? All right, so we're still waiting for the big border bill. And I was on uh, Cuomo last night on News Nation, and he's, you know, doing what most of these pundits are doing, railing about the border bill and how the Republicans aren't supporting it because of political th- reasons, that kind of thing. Uh, I mean, nobody knows what's in the bill. There have been some leaks, but there's no context. So I, I, I told him, look, why don't you calm down and wait till the bill comes out. Isn't that reasonable? We also don't know how the United States is going to punish Iran. Apparently, President Biden knows, but nobody else knows. But we're waiting now for that. Now, that's not a bad thing to keep the Mullahs a little nervous over there. Um, and again, I don't know what he's going to do. I'm not going to harpoon him unless it's ridiculous. And same thing with the border bill. I'll take a look at the border bill. I'll tell you if I were in Congress, would I vote for it? And why and why not? Isn't that fair? Okay. Talking Points memo is um, cyberspace and children at risk in America. This is a huge story. Let's walk through it very methodically, unemotionally. So yesterday, the Senate Judiciary Committee, that's chaired by Dick Durbin, Democrat of Illinois. Remember, the Democrats control the Senate. So they hauled in five CEOs of big tech companies, Mark Zuckerberg, Meta, Facebook, Instagram, Linda Yaccarino, X, Shochu, TikTok, Evan Spiegel, Snap, Chat, Jason Citron, Discord, Inc. All right. So they all had to come in and answer questions from the senators. Come back to me. Now, Zuckerberg, obviously, to start the show because he's a young billionaire, and everybody knows it. And you got to know one thing about Mark Zuckerberg. Just because you're a genius, and he is, in technology, doesn't mean you know anything else. So Zuckerberg intruded into the 2020 election, presidential election. We still don't know the extent of his $200 million infusion of money into a few counties. We don't know how that all came down. We should know, but Democrats, they're not going to do it. And I don't even think Trump, if he's reelected, is going to do it. He should. And I'm going to push him to do it. I want to know where that money went and how it affected the vote. Don't you? Okay, so Zuckerberg, he's got more money than any human being on the planet, really, because it's a cycle. It keeps turning over and turning over and turning over. But Zuckerberg doesn't, in my opinion, I don't know him, he can't think outside the tech box. So he invents all this stuff, but he doesn't know what the consequences are going to be. One name, Victor Frankenstein. We were warned about this by Mary Shelley, the author, okay? So Zuckerberg creates Frankenstein's monster and has no idea how that monster is going to affect the world. Doesn't know, doesn't particularly care. He's had plenty of time to put up barriers to crime and depravity on Facebook really hadn't done it because he didn't think that way. You know, he's looking at the tech, the hardware, the software, whatever it may be. They're all like that. I'm generalizing and that's unfair, but they're not real micro people. Okay. They're going, well, if I do this and we have Snapchat or TikTok, how's that going to affect 
a 12 year old. No, it doesn't happen. So everybody knows the problems. These social devices are addictive. They're addictive. I mean, we're to the point now where you can go to the movies with your kids and those kids will grab that phone if, they, if, if they're not engaged in them, boom. Same thing in the sports, we're watching a game, there's a phone. Dinner, phone, if you allow it, I don't allow it, but I'm a mean guy, okay? But it's a phone, it's a phone, it's a phone, it's a phone. First thing on their mind, primary source of their rec- uh, recreation. Out shooting baskets, oh, come on. No, phone. So it's addictive. The kids are addictive, but so are the parents. Parents are addicted too. And there are a lot of derelict parents in this country, more than you would think. The good parents are monitoring what their kids are doing, but you can't do that 24-7. And you say, okay, well, we'll ban the, the kid can't have the cell phone. Well, then you ostracize the kid in the school because everybody else, all the other kids have cell phones. They want to text, they want to get control, whatever. You pull the cell phone, and your kid is isolated. Know how difficult that is? So the problem is enormous. Enter the criminal element, all right? So there is so much evil in this world, and all of it is on display in social media. Every kind of evil you can think of. It is horrifying how easy it is for the children to access the evil. We're talking about pornography. We're talking about bullying. We're talking about um, drugs. You can order any narcotic you want. Send it right to your house or wherever. You get engaged and you're a child. You're talking to an adult. The adult is trying to do whatever. You know what I'm talking about here. All right? And there's no regulation at all. You can't sue Facebook or TikTok. There's laws against it because they're considered a third carrier, not the creator of the evil. They're the facilitator of the evil. This law's got to be changed across the board. So that's why the Judiciary Committee in the Senate met and hauled these five in. Okay. Zuckerberg got it the worst. Roll tape one. The first point is you want kids to use the platform more. In fact, you have an obligation to. But if you're not willing to acknowledge that it's a dangerous place for children, the Internet is a dangerous place for children, not just your platform, isn't it? Isn't the internet a dangerous place for children? I think it can be. That was Zuckerberg. I think it can be. All right, that was a Democrat, John Ossoff from Georgia. Um, Now, Ossoff was light on Zuckerberg. Lindsey Graham, Republican, South Carolina, was not. Go. I know you don't mean it to be so, but you have blood on your hands. You have a product, you have a product that's killing people. When we had cigarettes killing people, we did some about it, maybe not enough. How's it killing people? Suicides, all right? Youth suicides. And then finally, um, Zuckerberg himself uh, was asked, do you want to apologize to the families who are in the hearing. Roll it. I, I, I'm sorry for everything that you've done. It's terrible. I'm knowing you have to go through the things that your families have, have suffered. And this is why we invested so much in our own continue doing industry league efforts to, uh, to make sure that no one has to go through the types of things that your families have had to suffer. All right, some data for you. So studies show that 90% of American teenagers 13 to 17 have access to social media. 90%. Okay. Half of U.S. teenagers say they are online almost constantly. They are addicted. They are addicted to the devices. That's according to Pew Research. Okay. 50% of teenagers report 
a symptom of clinical dependency on the social device. That is, if you take the device away, they suffer emotionally and mentally. They're dependent. Average teenage use, eight hours, 39 minutes a day. Eight hours, 39 minutes, according to a study by Common Sense Media. Um, YouTube is most commonly used. 95% of teenagers who have devices use YouTube. 67% TikTok, 62 Instagram, 59 Snapchat, 23 Twitter. This is Pew Research uh, Center again. So you can see how pervasive this is. Now, I wrote a message of the day on BillOReilly.com. Once again, you don't have to be a member. You, don't, you just go there every morning. There is a new message for you. In that message, I said, here's what the federal government can and should do. Number one, laws have to be passed by the federal government that say, all school districts, every school district in the country cannot allow cell phones in the classroom. And if you do, you get no federal money. So if the state or the county says, blank you, federal government, no money. If you are doing computer work and the school owns the computers, that's fine. Personal cell phones cannot be in the classroom. If the kid takes the cell phone in, the teacher takes it away, gives it to the principal, and the principal keeps it until the parent comes down and picks it up. Number one, they are doing a measure of this in Great Britain. That has got to be number one. No cell phones in the classroom. Keep them in your locker. Number two. A new federal agency, I know you're going to scream, but it has to happen. A new federal agency has to be devoted to hunting down the criminals on the Internet. Cyber this, name it, whatever you want to name it. And that agency has the power to fine the perpetrators of the evil. Okay, they can be arrested, but the fines got to be really high. So you can't, you can put them in jail for child porn, drug dealing, all that. You can't. But if there's somebody in there who is bullying and, and, you know, and you can prove that they are targeting people, you can fine them 10 grand. Where do you see how the bullying stops? All right. Um, It's complicated. But the government must get involved. And don't write me and say, well, the parents. I'm telling you, millions of American parents, not just American, all over the world, don't care about their children. And you can't make them care unless they abuse the kid or neglect the kid. And even then, it's almost impossible to punish those derelict parents. All right, big, big, big problem. Going to get worse because AI is descending. And that'll be a whole new horror for children as they see evil right before their eyes designed not by humans, but by people who look human. AI. Coming. Better get a handle on us. That's the memo. Traditional media is crumbling, you know that. They are hiding something, something big. People are being lied to. But you've known the truth all along. The time to prepare for what is coming is now. So get started at preparelikebill.com. There you'll save $200 on essential three-month emergency food kits from My Patriot Supply. Over the years, My Patriot Supply to help millions of American families prepare for emergencies. Sealed inside ultra-durable packaging. Their delicious meals last up to 25 years in storage and provide more than 2,000 calories daily. 
Eat right when things go wrong with these three-month emergency food kits from My Patriot Supply. And with $200 in savings, you get enough for each family member. Please go to preparelikebill.com. Order by 3 p.m. for free same-day shipping. Preparelikebill.com. All right, let's go to the map. We got John uh, Sato, Hicksville, New York. Hometown of Billy Joel. O'Reilly, you say Governor Abbott doesn't comply, he could be jailed. Doc go for Governor Newsom and all the others who have set up sanctuary states and cities. If there was a Supreme Court ruling about the sanctuary cities and states, yes, but there hasn't been. There's no lawsuits that have reached the court. The Supreme Court just doesn't issue. They have to hear a case. So you get to file the suit and they have to take it. Paul Butko, Sarasota, Florida. I believe even if Mayorkas were to be impeached, the budget, the border would remain open. Yeah, probably. I mean, Biden's not going to do anything. He'll tell you he is, but not going to do anything to the border. I I think you're right. Andrew, concierge member. Andrew gets direct access to me. Bill, thank you for the update on public disorder across the country. In New York City, where is the public outrage over what is happening to police officers? Not visible. Not visible. No public outrage, no demonstrations. Local TV media, they do eight minutes on weather. They don't really care. New York Post is outraged. In this area, that's really the only media vehicle that covers uh, this kind of stuff, but I haven't seen any public outrage. Tony uh, Christler, Kirkland, Washington, a dear friend of mine is going to vote for Joe Biden because of the abortion issue. She's otherwise conservative and Catholic. It's her choice. If he wants to do that, she's an American, she can do it. I don't get involved with people's Voting choices, I will say to them, you vote for Biden again, you're going to suffer and your family. The man is in the beginning stages of dementia. But I, and four years ago, I told my liberal friends they were going to suffer and they are suffering. But people are people, they do what they want. Mark, people in New York City, Chicago, San Francisco, Portland, Oregon, um, get what they vote for. It's difficult to feel sorry for them. You know, that's my instinct, too. My instinct, too. You know, do I feel sorry for people in San Francisco? No. But it's wrong. I should, because there are innocent people, particularly kids, getting caught up in all that. But I I know what you're talking about. Charles Hartman, Conroe, Texas. Bill, just want to drop you a line thanking you for the No Spin News. I'm a concierge member. Listen every day. Keep up the good work. Godspeed. You know, we're here for you. That's why I want you to check out concierge membership. You got a problem, you want more information about something, boom. Write to me. Within 24 hours, we'll get back to you. Private, 100%. But we're here to improve your life. Okay, BillOReilly.com store. I love my team normal mug. Okay, on the bottom, so made in America. Okay. Uh, isn't this thing... And then when I use it and people see it, they go, Team Normal, and then I can explain it to them. Okay, got Team Normal. We got all kinds of stuff there. But we want you to pre-order Confronting the Presidents. Don't have to pay until we ship. You're just getting online, so you get it first. Okay? And um, I guarantee this book will teach you more than any other book you have ever read in your entire life. How's that for a boast? But it's true. Word of the day, do not be autocratic. A-U-T-O-C-R-A-T-I-C. Don't be autocratic. Back with being overwhelmed in a moment. Let me tell you a story about a guy named Leo Grillo. Leo was on a road trip, came across a Doberman. This dog was severely underweight, clearly in trouble. Leo rescued that Doberman and named him Delta. And this inspired Leo to start Delta Rescue. 
the largest no-kill, care-for-life animal sanctuary in the world. They have rescued thousands of dogs, cats, and horses. Do you know what Leo's mission is? Dedication and everlasting love to the animals. That will be Leo's legacy. Delta Rescue relies solely on contributions from people like you and me. Speak with your estate planner because there are tax-saving estate planning benefits. You can grow your estate while letting your love for animals live well into the future, leaving a legacy for those animals who need it the most. So please visit DeltaRescue.org today to learn more. The Tunnel to Towers Foundation supports America's greatest heroes, U.S. service members, and first responders who gave their lives, those catastrophically injured in the line of duty, and homeless vets. The Foundation's gold star fallen first responder and homeless vet programs honor the sacrifices made by men who fought and died for us and women who risk their lives for our country as well. The Foundation's Never Forget program engages people in 9-11 remembrances across America with more than 80 runs, walks, and dozens of golf outings every year. The Tunnel of Towers 9-11 Institute educates kids from kindergarten through 12th grade about America's darkest day while helping our nation keep its vow to never forget. So please support Tunnel to Towers. Donate $11 a month. Tunnel to Towers at T2T.org. More than 95 cents of every dollar you donate to Tunnel to Towers goes to its programs. That's T, the number two, another T.org. Okay, this morning at the O'Reilly Hacienda was chaos. All right. So the terror dog is on the mend. I told you she had uh, brain surgery, going to remove a tumor. And to recover from that, she's on medication. All right. And I feel so sorry for the dog. I mean, it's a really nice dog. So something about the medication didn't sit too well with the Terra dog. And she's up at 630. And, you know, it was not good. In addition, I got to do all the other stuff. In the morning, WABC, Sid Rosenberg. I got to set up the show. I got calls coming in, texts coming in. Emails coming in, and I got the terror dog there, and I got to get the terror dog out. I got to get a stay. I mean, it was, it was overwhelming. The tendency is to lash out when you're being overwhelmed. I, I do it, but it makes it worse. And sometimes you lash out at innocent people, frustrated, and you lash out. So what I did, and what I do now, almost all the time, that overwhelming stuff comes in is, I take a time out, like a little eight-year-old, five minutes, which I could do because I got the terror dog in a place where she was, you know, okay. I mean, she's sitting right in front of me. Five minutes, I just sat there and I said, okay, I'm going to bring it all this down. I got my pad, my pen, always have it. And I started to write out solutions to whatever was here. At the end of five minutes, Things were back under control in my mind. So everybody is overwhelmed at one time or another. Everybody. Sometimes you have to lash out to protect yourself. But most of the time, if you step back and do a five minute, four minute, whatever it may be, and just think about how to solve all this, you'll be 100% better. All right. Final thought. Thank you very much for watching and listening to the No Spin News, new column on Sunday. I don't even know what I'm going to write about yet because I'm keeping my on as Iran border bill stuff. And um, we want you to have a great weekend. And we'll see you again on Monday. Thank you for watching the No Spin News. To watch the full episode anytime on BillOReilly.com, please sign up to become a premium or concierge member. Visit BillOReilly.com to sign up and start watching today.